Welcome back to True Heroes. Today, historical moment, World War II, a cataclysmic global conflict spanning from 1939 to 1945, embroiled most of the world's nations, leaving an indelible mark on history. This comprehensive exploration delves into the war's pivotal events and turning points, unraveling its multifaceted impact. Introduction, Prelude to Chaos. The stage was set with mounting international tension. The Spanish Civil War, the Anschluss, Germany's union with Austria, the Sudetenland occupation, and the invasion of Czechoslovakia all foreshadowed the tempest that would soon engulf the world. On September 1, 1939, Hitler's forces invaded Poland, triggering a swift response from Britain and France, who declared war on Germany. The Battle of the Atlantic raged as U-boats clashed with British naval convoys, while Western Europe held its breath during the eerie phony war. Rise of the Axis Powers As the Ribbentrop Pact solidified the alliance between Germany and the Soviet Union, Russia followed Germany into Poland, carving up the country between them. The war in Eastern Europe and Scandinavia was far from phony, and civilians braced for the impending storm. Pivotal Battles and Turning Points The war unfolded in a series of seismic events. Battle of Britain. The skies over Britain witnessed a fierce struggle as the Royal Air Force thwarted Hitler's aerial onslaught. German invasion of USSR Operation Barbarossa saw Hitler's forces invade Russia, leading to a brutal conflict on the Eastern Front. Bombing of Pearl Harbor, Japan's surprise attack on December 7, 1941, thrust the United States into the war. Dambusters Raid, a daring British mission targeted German dams, disrupting industrial production. Normandy landings, D-Day. Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy, marking a turning point in the European theater. Impact on home fronts rationing, evacuations, and resilience defined life on the home fronts. Civilians endured hardships while mass murder unfolded in the Holocaust's dark shadow. Path to victory and innovations in warfare. From Stalingrad's surrender to the liberation of Paris, the tide shifted. Innovations in technology reshaped warfare, from code-breaking to the atomic bomb. Aftermath, shaping the modern world. As Soviet troops liberated Auschwitz and the world recoiled from the horrors of war, new leaders emerged. Truman assumed the U.S. presidency, and Attlee succeeded Churchill. The atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki forced Japan's surrender, leaving a scarred world forever transformed. In the crucible of World War II, humanity witnessed both its darkest depths and its unwavering resilience. The echoes of that conflict continued to reverberate through time, shaping our present and future World War II was a global conflict that lasted from 1939 to 1945, involving most of the world's nations and resulting in significant changes in the geopolitical landscape. This comprehensive article will explore the key events and turning points of the war, examining the prelude to the conflict, the rise of the Axis powers, the pivotal battles that turned the tide, the impact on the home fronts, the path to victory, the horrors of the Holocaust, innovations in warfare technology, and the aftermath that shaped the modern world. Key Takeaways World War II was precipitated by the Treaty of Versailles and the rise of totalitarian regimes, leading to a series of aggressive acts that went unchecked due to appeasement policies. The early years of the war were marked by the rapid expansion of the Axis powers, utilizing blitzkrieg tactics and achieving significant victories such as the fall of France and the initial success of Operation Barbarossa. The entry of the United States into the war and pivotal battles such as Stalingrad and Midway marked the turning of the tide against the Axis powers. The war had a profound impact on civilian life, with total war mobilization, the targeting of civilians, and the use of propaganda becoming central to the home front experience. The path to victory for the Allies involved major offensives such as D-Day, the liberation of occupied territories, and culminated in the use of atomic weapons, which ushered in a new era of warfare and set the stage for the Cold War. The Prelude to Global Conflict The Prelude to Global Conflict The Treaty of Versailles, Seeds of Dissent 
In the shadow of World War I, the Treaty of Versailles was signed in 1919, ostensibly to ensure a lasting peace. However, its punitive terms towards Germany sowed the seeds of dissent that would eventually grow into the global conflict of World War II. The treaty's harsh reparations and territorial losses inflicted upon Germany created a sense of humiliation and economic despair among its people. As dawn broke on June 6, 1944, the largest amphibious invasion in history was underway. Codenamed Operation Overlord, D-Day marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. Allied forces comprising American, British, Canadian, and other nationalities launched a massive assault on the fortified beaches of Normandy, France. The operation was a complex symphony of air, land, and sea units working in unison. The initial landings were preceded by extensive aerial and naval bombardment intended to soften the German defenses. Despite this, the troops faced fierce resistance as they disembarked onto the five designated beaches, Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword. The success of D-Day was not just a military victory. It was a beacon of hope that pierced the darkness of war signaling the resurgence of the Allied powers. Liberation and the Fall of the Reich As the Allies pushed forward, the once formidable Third Reich began to crumble. Cities were reclaimed one after another as Axis forces retreated or surrendered. The liberation of occupied territories brought both joy and sorrow. Joy for the end of oppression and sorrow for the devastation and loss that had occurred. April 1945, American forces liberate the Dachau concentration camp, revealing the horrors of the Holocaust to the world. May 1945, Soviet troops storm Berlin, leading to the eventual surrender of German forces. The unconditional surrender of Nazi Germany is signed on May 7, 1945, marking the official end of the war in Europe. The streets, once filled with the echoes of war, now resonated with the sounds of celebration and the tears of relief. The fall of the Reich had come at a tremendous cost, but it also opened the door to a Europe free from the tyranny of Nazi rule. The final days of the conflict saw leaders falling and regimes toppling. The suicide of Adolf Hitler in his bunker symbolized the ultimate defeat of a dictator who had plunged the world into chaos. The world breathed a collective sigh of relief, even as it began to reckon with the immense task of rebuilding and ensuring that such a conflict would never happen again. The final push in the Pacific, Iwo Jima to Hiroshima. As the Allies inched closer to victory in Europe, the Pacific theater witnessed some of the most ferocious and pivotal Web Iwo II major battles. The capture of Iwo Jima became a symbol of the relentless American advance while the stories of Wedwi II veterans recount the harrowing conditions and the indomitable spirit of those who fought. Iwo Jima, February 19, March 26, 1945. Okinawa, April 1, June 22, 1945. Hiroshima, August 6, 1945. The battle for Iwo Jima was a testament to the tenacity of both American forces and the Japanese defenders. The iconic image of the flag raising on Mount Suribachi encapsulated the hard-earned victory after weeks of intense combat. The atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki marked the culmination of the Pacific War, bringing an unprecedented level of destruction and hastening the end of Wei Wei II. The final push in the Pacific also underscored the human cost of war, with casualties mounting on both sides. The dropping of atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki introduced the world to the atomic age, forever changing the landscape of warfare and international relations. The Holocaust. Darkness over Europe. The systematic persecution. As the dark cloud of World War II loomed over Europe, the Nazi regime began a campaign of systematic persecution that would become a prelude to one of history's most horrific genocides. Initially, the Nazis targeted political opponents, but their focus quickly shifted to a broader, more sinister agenda. The Jewish population, however, faced the most relentless and brutal persecution. From the imposition of the Nuremberg Laws in 1935, which stripped Jews of their civil rights, to the infamous Kristallnacht pogrom in 1938, the stage was set for the unfathomable atrocities that would follow. The escalation of violence and oppression was not an overnight occurrence, 
but a calculated progression of policies and actions designed to dehumanize and destroy entire communities. The Nazis meticulously documented their actions, leaving behind a chilling record of their systematic approach to genocide. The table below outlines the timeline of key events that marked the intensification of persecution leading to the Holocaust. Ghettos and concentration camps. As the war drew to a close, the Allied forces advancing into Axis territory made grim discoveries. The liberation of Nazi camps revealed the extent of the Holocaust's horror to the world. These were not merely prisons, but centers of systematic extermination, where millions of Jews, Romani people, political dissidents, and others deemed undesirable were methodically murdered. The Atomic Age dawns. As the final chapters of World War II were being written, a new era in warfare emerged with the introduction of World War II weapons that would forever change the landscape of military conflict. The atomic bomb, a culmination of the secretive Manhattan Project, represented a leap in destructive power that dwarfed all previous weapons. The cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki became the first and only targets of nuclear weapons in war. The bombings, which occurred on August 6 and 9, 1945 respectively, led to the surrender of Japan and the end of World War II. The impact of these events was profound and immediate, ushering in the Atomic Age. The Atomic Age heralded a period of intense fear and awe, as the potential for unparalleled destruction now lay in the hands of humanity. The Cost of War, Human and Economic Toll the aftermath of World War II revealed a world that had paid a staggering price for years of conflict. The human cost was unparalleled, with millions of lives lost and countless others forever altered by injury and trauma. The economic toll was equally devastating as nations grappled with the expense of rebuilding and the burden of war debts. Military and civilian casualties combined were over 70 million. Vast urban areas, once bustling with life, lay in ruins across Europe and Asia. The global economy, already weakened by the Great Depression, faced further strain from the costs of war. The landscape of entire nations was reshaped, not just by the physical scars of battle, but also by the social and political upheavals that followed. The reconstruction efforts required massive financial investments and international cooperation, leading to initiatives such as the Marshall Plan. This plan alone funneled billions into the recovery of war-torn Europe, setting the stage for a period of unprecedented economic growth in the following decades. The Nuremberg Trials – Justice for War Crimes In the somber aftermath of World War II, the world's eyes turned to Nuremberg, where leaders of the Nazi regime faced judgment for their heinous war crimes. The Nuremberg Trials, a series of military tribunals, set a precedent for international law, holding individuals accountable for acts of aggression, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. The trials were not just about retribution. They were a profound statement about the rule of law and the necessity of a just world order. The prosecution presented overwhelming evidence of atrocities, forever imprinting the gravity of the Nazi crimes into the annals of history. The defendants, which included high-ranking military officials, politicians, and industrialists, were charged on four counts. Conspiracy to commit crimes, crimes against peace, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. The major war criminals trial began on November 20, 1945, and concluded on October 1, 1946. Twelve defendants were sentenced to death, three were acquitted, and the rest received various prison sentences. The Nuremberg Trials underscored the world's commitment to justice and the unyielding pursuit of accountability for atrocities. It was a moment that reshaped international relations and the conduct of war, echoing the call for human rights and dignity across a shattered world. The United Nations and the onset of the Cold War. As the embers of World War II cooled, the world was left to grapple with the profound changes wrought by the conflict. The establishment of the United Nations marked a beacon of hope for a war-weary globe, aspiring to prevent future conflicts and promote international cooperation. Yet even as nations united under this common cause, the geopolitical landscape was rapidly shifting. The WW2 impact on society was deep and enduring, altering the very fabric of global relations. 
The war had not only redrawn borders but also set the stage for a new kind of conflict. The Cold War. Ideological divides between the United States and the Soviet Union emerged, leading to a tense standoff that would last for decades. The United Nations aimed to foster peace and prevent the scourge of war. Ideological rifts led to the formation of NATO and the Warsaw Pact. The Cold War saw a proliferation of nuclear weapons, raising the stakes of global politics. In the aftermath of World War II, the world found itself navigating through a labyrinth of new challenges and uncertainties, with the specter of nuclear annihilation looming over humanity like never before. Following this victory, the Allies sought to maintain momentum with the Guadalcanal Campaign. This series of land and sea clashes starting in August 1942 became a testament to the tenacity and endurance of American forces in the face of harsh jungle warfare and determined Japanese resistance. The ferocity of the Pacific battles was matched only by their strategic importance, as each island secured brought the Allies closer to Japan's home islands. The significance of these battles is underscored by the following outcomes. Establishment of air and naval superiority in the Pacific disruption of Japanese supply lines and communication boosting of Allied morale after a series of defeats. The Pacific theater continued to be a grueling contest of attrition and strategy, setting the stage for further Allied advances and ultimately contributing to the downfall of the Japanese Empire. The home fronts the home fronts, mobilizing for total war. As nations plunged deeper into World War II, the concept of total war became a stark reality. Every facet of society was harnessed to support the war effort, from industry to agriculture, science to entertainment. The home front was no longer a bystander, but an active participant in a struggle for survival and victory. Factories shifted from peacetime production to churning out tanks, planes, and munitions. Scientists and engineers worked feverishly to innovate and improve weapons and tactics. Ordinary citizens contributed through rationing, recycling, and volunteering. Amidst the backdrop of mobilization, Wubby 2 resistance movements sprang up across occupied territories, embodying the indomitable spirit of those under the yoke of Axis powers. These clandestine groups carried out sabotage, gathered intelligence, and provided aid to allies playing a crucial role in undermining enemy operations. In the quiet corners of history, personal stories are etched into World War II memorabilia. These artifacts, ranging from medals to personal letters, serve as poignant reminders of the sacrifices made and the resilience of the human spirit. The collective effort was monumental, a testament to the resolve of nations determined to emerge victorious from the crucible of conflict. Life under siege, civilians in the crosshairs. Throughout the war, cities across Europe and Asia were subjected to prolonged sieges that tested the resilience of the civilian population. The siege of Leningrad stands as a harrowing example of the extreme hardships faced by non-combatants. For 872 days, the city was encircled by Axis forces, cutting off all supply lines and leaving its residents to contend with starvation, cold, and constant bombardment. During sieges, the civilian death toll often surpassed that of the military. Basic necessities such as food, water, and medical supplies became scarce, leading to severe rationing and widespread suffering. In Leningrad, daily rations at one point were reduced to a mere 125 grams of bread, often mixed with inedible substances. The spirit of the besieged was one of defiance and endurance. Despite the dire circumstances, they managed to keep factories running, maintain some semblance of civic order, and even protect precious artworks and cultural treasures from destruction. The impact of these sieges on the civilian psyche was profound, with many developing coping mechanisms to deal with the constant threat of death. The psychological scars would last long after the physical ones had healed, shaping the post-war world in ways that are still being understood propaganda, and the war of minds. Throughout World War II, propaganda emerged as a powerful tool for shaping public opinion and morale. Both the Allies and the Axis powers skillfully wielded this weapon, crafting messages to inspire, inform, and sometimes deceive their populations and those of their adversaries. In the United States, posters like Rosie the Riveter encouraged women to join the workforce. 
the British Keep Calm and Carry On campaign aimed to boost civilian morale during the Blitz. Nazi Germany used propaganda to justify their actions and dehumanize their enemies. The art of persuasion was not confined to posters and radio broadcasts. It infiltrated every aspect of life, from films to education, ensuring that the war was fought not only on battlefields, but within the minds of millions. Countries recognized the importance of controlling the narrative. The United States established the Office of War Information, while the Ministry of Propaganda in Germany led by Josef Goebbels became infamous for its far-reaching influence. The Soviet Union's TASS agency disseminated stories of heroic resistance and inevitable victory. The Path to Victory The United Kingdom stood alone against the Axis onslaught, bracing for an invasion. But the British resolve was as steadfast as the cliffs of Dover. The Battle of Britain, fought in the skies from July to October 1940, became a testament to the courage of the Royal Air Force, RAF. Pilots from the RAF and those from occupied Europe fought valiantly against the numerically superior Luftwaffe. In the face of adversity, the British spirit remained unbroken, bolstered by the rallying cry of leaders who promised victory at all costs. Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union. As dawn broke on June 22, 1941, the largest military invasion in history unfolded. Operation Barbarossa marked a pivotal moment in World War II, as Nazi Germany turned its formidable military might against its former ally, the Soviet Union. The initial success of the Wehrmacht, with its panzers rolling across the vast steppes, seemed to confirm Hitler's gamble. The sheer scale of the invasion was unprecedented, involving millions of soldiers and thousands of tanks and aircraft, all converging on a front that stretched from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea. Despite the early German advances, the campaign would ultimately falter, bogged down by the brutal Russian winter, fierce Soviet resistance, and logistical nightmares. The failure of German forces to capture key cities like Moscow and Leningrad marked the beginning of a long and costly war of attrition on the Eastern Front. Initial German success with rapid territorial gains, harsh winter conditions and Soviet counter-offensives stalling the German advance, the siege of key cities and the high human cost on both sides. The battle lines drawn during Operation Barbarossa would define the Eastern Front for years to come, setting the stage for some of the most ferocious fighting of the Second World War. The tide turns. The United States enters the fray with the echoes of Pearl Harbor's devastation still resounding. America's entry into World War II marked a pivotal shift in the global conflict. The sleeping giant was now awake, and the gears of its vast industrial machine began to turn with a singular purpose, victory. The nation's initial steps were cautious, yet deliberate. In October 1941, Congress lifted the bans on arming merchant vessels and from those ships entering belligerent ports or combat zones, signaling a departure from isolationism. This legislative change was a prelude to the full-scale mobilization that would transform the United States into the arsenal of democracy. The American spirit, characterized by resilience and a fierce sense of liberty, was galvanized. Across the nation, factories shifted from peacetime production to war materials, and citizens from all walks of life contributed to the war effort. The impact of this monumental shift was not just military, it was societal. Women entered the workforce in unprecedented numbers, embodying the iconic Rosie the Riveter, and the foundations for civil rights movements were laid as minorities fought for freedom abroad and equality at home. Stalingrad, the turning point. The Battle of Stalingrad, raging from August 1942 to February 1943, marked a decisive turn in World War II. The Soviet victory not only halted the Axis advance, but also became a symbol of resistance and resurgence for the Allied powers. The ferocity of the fighting and the sheer scale of the casualties were unprecedented. The German Sixth Army, under the command of General Friedrich Paulus, was encircled and ultimately surrendered after months of brutal urban warfare. This defeat shattered the myth of Nazi invincibility and boosted the morale of the Allies. August 23, 1942. Battle of Stalingrad begins November 19, 1942. 
Operation Uranus commences encircling Axis forces February 2, 1943. German surrender at Stalingrad. The loss of the 6th Army was a catastrophe for the German war effort. Hitler's directive to hold at all costs led to a complete annihilation of one of his most elite armies. The aftermath of Stalingrad had far-reaching consequences. It spurred the Red Army to seize the initiative, embarking on a series of offensives that would eventually lead them to Berlin. The battle's outcome also influenced Allied strategic decisions, reinforcing the push for a second front in Western Europe. The struggle for the Pacific, Midway and Guadalcanal. As the war raged on in Europe, the Pacific theater witnessed pivotal battles that would come to define the struggle between the United States and Japan. The Battle of Midway, fought in June 1942, marked a significant turning point. With the sinking of four Japanese aircraft carriers, the U.S. Navy delivered a crippling blow to Japan's naval superiority. The treaty demanded that Germany accept full responsibility for the war, known as the War Guilt Clause. It imposed heavy reparations that crippled the German economy. Germany was stripped of its colonies and territories, reducing its political influence. The sense of injustice felt by the German populace was profound, and it fermented a breeding ground for extremist ideologies. The stage was set for the rise of figures like Adolf Hitler, who capitalized on this discontent to seize power. The treaty's failure to foster reconciliation or economic stability in Europe is often cited as a critical factor in the lead-up to World War II. It stands as a stark reminder of how peace agreements can have unintended consequences when they are perceived as unjust. Rise of Totalitarian Regimes In the interwar period, a shadow crept over Europe and Asia as totalitarian regimes took hold, promising stability and revival after the chaos of World War I and the Great Depression. These governments, centralized and dictatorial, often revolved around a single leader whose word was law. In Italy, Benito Mussolini established a fascist government, emphasizing aggressive nationalism and the suppression of political dissent. Germany witnessed the rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party, which combined intense nationalism with virulent anti-Semitism. The Soviet Union, under Joseph Stalin, expanded its communist ideology with an iron fist, purging any form of opposition. Each regime shared a common thread, the complete domination of society, from economics to culture, with the state's power being absolute. The individual was subsumed under the weight of the collective, and personal freedoms were sacrificed at the altar of national strength and unity. The allure of these regimes lay in their promise to restore pride and purpose to nations humbled by war and economic despair. Yet the cost was a society shackled by fear and repression, where the state's authority was unchallenged and omnipresent. The Path to War, Aggression and Appeasement As the 1930s unfolded, the world witnessed a series of aggressive acts that would ultimately lead to the outbreak of World War II. Germany, under Adolf Hitler, began to defy the Treaty of Versailles by rearming and marching into the Rhineland. Meanwhile, Italy, led by Benito Mussolini, sought to create a new Roman Empire, starting with the invasion of Ethiopia. The response from the world's powers was a policy of appeasement, most notably by Britain and France, who were eager to avoid another devastating conflict. The Munich Agreement of 1938, which allowed Germany to annex the Sudetenland, is often cited as the apex of this policy. It was hoped that by satisfying Hitler's demands, peace could be maintained. The belief that war could be averted by conceding to some of Hitler's demands was a tragic miscalculation. However, the policy of appeasement only emboldened the Axis powers, leading to further invasions and the eventual collapse of peace efforts. The invasion of Poland by Germany on September 1, 1939, finally shattered any illusions of peace, prompting Britain and France to declare war. The Axis powers' ascendant Blitzkrieg, lightning war unleashed. As the World War II timeline unfolded, the concept of Blitzkrieg or lightning war redefined modern warfare with its speed and ferocity. The Germans orchestrated a relentless advance, employing a combination of tanks, dive bombers, and motorized artillery 
to execute a splitting thrust on a narrow front. This strategy was designed to pierce through enemy defenses with overwhelming force, encircle them, and achieve rapid victories. The essence of Blitzkrieg was to exploit the element of surprise and the weaknesses of opponents, causing disarray and leading to quick capitulation. The effectiveness of Blitzkrieg was evident in the early stages of the war. Poland was overrun in September 1939, a mere month after the German invasion. Denmark and Norway succumbed in the spring of 1940. The Low Countries and France were next, with Paris falling in June 1940. Each campaign demonstrated the devastating impact of this new form of warfare, as the Germans swiftly conquered vast territories, often before their adversaries could mount a coherent defense. The Fall of France and the Battle of Britain As the dust settled on the battlefields of France, the world witnessed the rapid capitulation of one of Europe's mightiest armies. In June 1940, France fell to the relentless advance of the German Wehrmacht, marking a dark chapter in European history. The French surrender was a stark reminder of the effectiveness of Blitzkrieg, a strategy that combined speed, coordination, and devastating firepower to overwhelm the enemy. Conclusion The Echoes of a Global Struggle As the sun set on the battlefields of World War II, the world emerged forever altered. The sheer scale of the conflict and the staggering loss of life left indelible marks on the fabric of nations and the hearts of individuals. In the aftermath, the world sought to rebuild and to ensure that such a cataclysm would never occur again. The establishment of the United Nations and the onset of the Cold War were but two of the many consequences of a war that reshaped borders, ideologies, and global power structures. The stories of heroism, sacrifice, and resilience continue to be told, a testament to the enduring human spirit in the face of overwhelming adversity. World War II was not just a chapter in a history book, it was a crucible that forged the modern world, teaching lessons that remain relevant to this day. In the annals of history, amidst the tempest of World War II, emerged a tapestry woven with valor, sacrifice, and unwavering resolve. These were the true heroes, ordinary souls thrust into an extraordinary maelstrom. As the dust settled and the echoes of battle faded, their indomitable spirit remained etched in time. True heroes, men and women who defied the darkness, who stood tall when the world trembled. From the skies over Britain to the scorched plains of Stalingrad, they rewrote destiny. Their courage, resilience, and camaraderie transcended borders, uniting disparate nations in a common cause. And so, as we bid farewell to this chapter of our shared past, let us remember them. The pilots who soared, the soldiers who marched, the medics who healed, and the civilians who endured. Their legacy reverberates through the ages, a beacon of hope and a testament to the human spirit. In the grand theater of war, they were not mere pawns, they were the architects of freedom. Their sacrifices birthed a new dawn, a world forever shaped by their unwavering resolve. True heroes, we salute you. May your memory endure, inspiring generations yet unborn. For in your courage we find our own. This concludes our journey through the crucible of history. Until we meet again, remember, we are the custodians of their legacy.